Hey everybody, it's Paul from Screenwriting Scribe. Welcome to another video here. We're gonna take a look at one of Final Draft's, I think one of their most important features, and it deals with their pre-work. So we're gonna take a look at their beat board, out, as well as their outline editor. And we're gonna help you just get used to these particular uh, tools, and hopefully you can start using them to help craft that wonderful screenplay. So let's dive right in right now and help you figure out these tools, these powerful tools that'll help unlock your writing. So the first thing I want you to know is I just pulled up a untitled screenplay and now I'm simply going to go to show and hide and that's going to show us the outline editor. Now let's take a look at the, the beat board. The way that you do that is simply go up to view and then scroll down to beat board. You can actually also when you first open up final draft 13, you can also just uh, click a new beat board as well too. So this is what it looks like right now without anything on the page for the beat board as well as the outline editor. So let's take a look through here and see how we can do different things. Well, the nice thing about it, it tells you automatically how to add a new beat. So what we can do right now is simply double click and this is what we come up with. You can have the beat title and you can write something in the body. So let's do that right now. So, so here we go, we have our beat that I've written here. The nice thing it does include spell check as well too because it's telling me frantically I'd spell it wrong. I do great with spelling, right? Um, and so right here, this is how you include a beat on your beat board. Now, once we have our beat here, there's a number of different things we can do to our beat. Uh, what I basically would do first though is click off and then come back to it and click, and you wanna wait till you see the little hand icon. Uh, and that tells you you can grab the beat. So with, when you can grab the beat, you can move the beat around if you like. If you do that as, uh, as well too with the little hand, when the hand icon comes back on, you can also right click and you can do some alignment. You can send it to the script. Uh, so you can actually put little pieces of these beats into your script as well too. Uh, it doesn't come in as uh, what you normally see within the script. It's sort of, like, uh, uh, sort of like commentary notes and stuff like that. You can also change the color if you wanna change the different background colors of this to align with a certain thing. Again, just click off and as you come closer, you're gonna see the little hand. Simply again, right click and then you can change uh, any of the different colors. You can also have a custom color as well too. Uh, you can uh, change, you can just have the title and the body in your beat or just title only or body only. So we just do that. You can just see that we got rid of the title. Uh, again, just click off, come back on, little hand, perfect. Just as easy as that title and body. Now the other powerful thing about this, so you can write like these little clips of, or different beats. So the beats of the story can be a lot of different things. It could be a story beat. It could be a particular scene beat. Um, anything they can do sort of, this is the wonderful thing I like about this. There's a lot of brainstorming aspects to this. You can write a bunch of things down. Uh, the other thing too is you can add pictures. So let me show you how we do that. So I have a different folder here that I'm just pulling up, uh, Galactic Frontier, which is a story I've been working on. And so I'm just gonna pull one of the images from there of, of a security guard that I have. You just simply um, drop and drag to bring your image on. And you can see the image here. Uh, let's take a look and see what we can do to this. So then again, we can right click and then we can change the color. So if I wanna change this to orange, the outline is orange. If we want to change, um, you know, the beat shows, I can just show the title only, which is just a security, uh, or I can go back and show both things again, uh, body only or title. Uh, so like I said, if I just wanna show just the security guard himself, uh, and I don't want this, this uh, other thing up here, I just simply, like I said, just have to get in here and show the body only, and now we just have a picture of the security guard. And again, the nice thing about this is, again, if you have the little hand, we can drag them to and from. Uh, you can also connect things together as well too. Uh, so the way that you do that, so if you wanna create a little arrow between them, you simply stick on top. And you saw that this highlight as well too, and you have a little arrow between the two. So now if I wanna show some relationship between these things other than just a line connecting the two, you can right click on the line, and then you can connect with reverse arrows. You can connect with a different color. Maybe you wanna turn the color to yellow. You can also, you can also connect with a double arrow here as well too. Again, you can do whatever you want. You connect with, again, we can have a color. We don't have to have a color. Uh, we can also disconnect them by simply hitting the disconnect key and that disconnects the two uh, beats from each other. So you can do this with a whole wide range of different ideas and stuff. And so you're probably wondering, so what do we do next in terms of the outline editor? So once we get all of our story beats sort of put down here, then we can start using these two different editors up here uh, in the program. 
Now, this is the, the top one is traditionally broken into acts. So if we look at outline one, we can change, we can add a lane, we can remove a lane, uh, we can indent, outdent, we can rename. So let's rename that to, so let's rename this to acts. So that way we know what these are acts for. And then we can come in here and say, we want to add a act one. So again, we could take act one here. Let's take a, take a moment and change the color of this to, let's take a moment and change the color of this to green. So we can take this here and simply take that and, and slide that into the act section. Now the, the neat thing about this here is it's gonna tell you what the goal is and it can, you can change this goal here. Uh, it can go down to an eighth of a page. Uh, but you can change it to as many pages as you want. And let's say we're going to make a 10 page script. And so we're going to change this to about three pages here. We just, I'm just clicking and holding and stretching this out to three. Um, and so uh, that's where we have for that. So let's say we're going to stick this uh, other part. Let's rename this other outline too, to just, uh, we're going to change that to scenes. So again, what I did was just uh, click on the uh, button right here on the three dots and then i just went down to rename and then there we go we have our scenes we could, and then the other thing within this is you notice that it's indented so if we if we for some reason let's say we flip these around we can flip the indentation to show which one's in front of the other one so as you see here everything that's inundated under axe uh it falls beneath it so then this is sort of a subcategory so let's take the scene that we have from the prisoner and stick it into act one and see what happens so again, I just grabbed it and brought it up here uh, and there we go. And it tells me the goal that I have for this particular uh, thing and I can move this around. So if I want it, you know, I can move it to here. I can increase the page length if I want. I can decrease the page length if I want. So that's how we do that. And then we can add other things as well here too. You can create everything as green. So you know, everything's in the first act. Uh, you can use red for certain storylines or something like that. Um, but that's sort of what you can do here. And again, you can change the size of each of these things. So if I'm going to do uh, 10 uh, pages for that, let's just go through and I'll show you again what that looks like in terms of the different acts and as well as scenes. And to add a new act, we just hit new beat. And again, we can write act two. And again, we click off, click on, change it to whatever color we want. Grab it. There we go. And then we can change that. And again, if we want to say that's another, maybe that's going to be seven pages. And then we just have to wait till we get the hand and the hand allows us to move stuff around. So we can also take stuff here and move them underneath each other. So one neat thing you can do about this is let's say you have everything under act one that you want to do. Uh, the next thing you can do is simply uh, use the left button and then collect all these together or select all the ones you want. And again, we look for the hand. Once we hit the hand, we hit right click and we do a line select. Uh, we can um, make them make it to the column. We can change it to a row. And we can show you what that looks like there. There's the row there. Perfect. There's the row. Uh, and then we can also, we can also cascade it as well too. So it's all sort of one on top of each other. So we can move that all wherever we like. So if you want to, if you know, if you're trying to move stuff around in the script, this is a real easy way to pick up all the elements of that script um, and move it to where you need to go. The only hard part is just getting the uh, hand icon to show up. There we go. And then boom. That's, I think the hardest part I've, I've noticed when trying to do this has been just getting the hand icon to show up. Uh, so then say we have everything under act two and we could put act three in there as well too. Uh, so you can see how easy it is to create these different beats and how to use them. And again, you can just stick them up in this other things about scenes. And then like I said, you can sort of write to however long you think those scenes are. And if you need to change that based on your script, you can do that as well too. So I hope that gave you some basics about the beat board and about the outline editor. Let me know in the comment section below what specifically you want to know more about how to use the beat board and how to use the outline editor. Until the next video, live well and write well.